welcome back to my channel today we are going to be making chickpea salad with a mediterranean twist we are starting off with a can of chickpeas which have been washed rinsed and pat dry we set that aside and begin cutting up the vegetables we're starting off with a green bell pepper i always like to take out the seeds cut it up longitudinally and then cut it up vertically into small cube like sizes by the way, if you're coming here for the first time, please remember to like and subscribe. And please watch to the end for the secret salad dressing recipe. I couldn't find my cutting board at this time, so I just decided to cut it directly on my countertop. Please don't do that because it's going to mess up your countertop. The desired size has been achieved and then I'll go ahead and add it to the bowl. Next we have the English cucumber. Um, the skin is usually very thin so I like to leave it on but you can cut off, peel off the skin if you would like to. First of all I cut it longitudinally and then across to achieve the cube sizes. Once that is done, I add it to the dish. Next, I have the yellow bell peppers. The aim of this is just to have as many different colors as possible to just give that colorful burst to your salad. I'm already achieving a variety of different colors that is already making me to salivate. This is about a cup of cherry tomatoes that I'm going to add to the salad. Since the tomatoes are very small in size, I usually just cut them in halves and then add them to my salad. We are always advised to eat the rainbow. This is a perfect dish that represents that saying. I add about a cup of Kalamata olives to give it that Mediterranean twist. And finally, I chop up purple onions. This is totally optional. I like to have onions in my salad. That is why I'm having this. I cut it up and then I chop it up into little bits and add it to my salad. All the required vegetables have been finely cut and added to the dish and it looks so so colorful. Trust me, it's gonna taste as wonderful as it looks. Finally, because I want to add some flavor to it, I'll finally cut up about three stalks of mint. I wanted to add basil to it as well but I couldn't find basil so I'm just chopping up the mint to add flavor to my salad. This is a big bowl of salad, so I'm adding a cup of crushed feta cheese to it. You can add any cheese of your choice. You get some good fats that increases the rate of satiety. Then you give your salad a very thorough mix. This is the bowl of chickpea salad. I'm going to go ahead and make the dressing starting off with squeezing half a lemon I like to use the citrus juicer so that I get as much juice as possible I'm adding two tablespoons to the blender white natural honey to give it some sweetness olive oil balsamic vinegar you can also use red wine vinegar avocado to add some creaminess and a dash of salt add everything to a high speed blender and blend until you have a smooth consistency i like making my own salad because i know what ingredients are in there 
so I can avoid the bad seed oils that are found in commercially sold salad creams. The salad is ready and the cream is ready as well. I'm dishing it out into a plate. I usually have this with chicken or salmon in order to have my required amount of protein. Look at that. I usually like my salad really creamy. That's why I have a lot of dressing. And then I add a dash of pepper, black pepper to it to give it that kick. My salad is ready to be served. I cover the rest of it with clean wrap and put it in the fridge. It can go for about three to four days. Please remember to like and subscribe and keep coming back for more appealing videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.